Mr. Tony greeted them at the door. Welcome, welcome. We are ready to begin. And so they got to work making the dough for the crust. For the crust. No naughty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kneading it. Kneading it. Kneading it. Rolling out half into a big circle and spreading it over the deep ish path. Oh my gosh, he's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> then everyone peeled the sliced the apples mixed together the sugar and pieces and spread the rest of the dough on top wow <laughs> wow oh my god wow said said clayton and desmond then they were wowing finish wow 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 an hour said what an hour said mr um tony give me an hour the gate pan just fit into the his large 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 huge oven oh my gosh i thought it was a giant apple the next day was friday who would have the largest apple james of course and mr mouser handed him the prize uh cheddar cheese apple Mrs. Mousy looked surprised. Clayton and Desmond, nothing from you? Oh, of course. The two of them grinned, grinned at the same moment. The classroom door flew open and came Clayton's dad. And Clayton's dad... Uncle Ver Vernon and Mr. Tony struggled to carry the giant pie by themselves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How wonderful. <laughs> How wonderful, said Miss Mousley. <laughs> That's the biggest apple pie ever we made it for the whole class said clayton all of us together said desmond they, they shared a half and everyone in a class had a very big slice wow wow <laughs> so how did this story make you feel okay so, yeah, this story is amazing, I know, and it's been four minutes already, but still, bye guys.